So the results are finally in, guys. I've given you a straw poll. You voted on the tutorial series you want to see. And finally, the results came in. And um, here it is, the straw poll. So let's check it out. Let's see what you guys want me to do. So third person adventure game has the most votes, 68 votes. It's almost 50% or 49% of all the votes. There are 140 or 139 votes. So that's quite a bit of people. Um, I'm surprised actually. I thought this wouldn't go above 50. So I've made a, um, I made a request in the comments. I pinned it if you haven't seen it. I basically said that if it doesn't reach more than 50 uh, votes, I'm just going to keep doing what I did. But um, you guys, you guys shown that you're out there. So I'm, I'm pretty glad that I have an audience which I can, um, I guess, um, which I can talk to. And you guys are actually there, not just some random bots and stuff. So basically a third person adventure game. So that's what we're going to do. And um, I've set up this little project. These are all the assets um, that I have. Uh, now you're going to get this project. You're not going to get all of these models. Um... You're, they're not going to be available to you or well I have still haven't decided I'm gonna be releasing a different video but basically you're gonna get a fraction of these models but all the scripts all the functionality that you need to make the adventure game it's it's gonna be done in the series so you're gonna watch the videos and get new uh, things and assets as we go along so um, yeah the only thing that you can get uh, for like premium or if you buy it is these models these houses these trees these you're basically gonna get the the a couple of uh, characters you're gonna get a couple props you're gonna get a couple of things but i'm gonna be releasing a different video talking about that now uh you're gonna see the link in the description you can download the um starting project and we can go ahead and do it now note this project um uh i've already imported the standard assets the third person controller but if you don't get it for some reason just import the third person controller the cross-platform input the physics materials utility everything and uh, this little shader over here it's called the tsf a shader you can get on the asset store it's basically this this see uh, this a cartoony outline sort of look so you can get it on the asset store so now to start the series um we're going to create the new scene and uh, this is going to be our scene um our global scene so yeah so um we're in the scene i'm gonna i'm not gonna show you guys how to go ahead and create terrain create everything because i do not want you i mean i don't not want not want you guys to spend time watching me creating terrain and everything because i think it's pretty boring so i'm just gonna um do it off um i guess video um i'm just gonna create a like, little small train over here that i can play around with I'm going to add a texture. Um, so basically, I've uh, gotten these textures. Now, these are all the textures that I've made. These flags aren't. These, these are from the internet. And this grass, sand, dirt one, I've got it on Google. You can. I'm not sure if they're like free to copyright use, but uh, you guys, if you're going to make a game that you're going to sell and everything, I highly suggest you check that out. So basically, um, just search uh, hand painted textures or low poly dirt sand whatever so the base layer because it's gonna be like an island sort of thing I guess we're gonna have sand we're gonna have a couple of terrains or well it's still you can guys can create whatever you want while decorating it and everything I'm here for the functionality and everything the story etc that's all upon you I'm just here for the functionality and scripts and everything so yeah of course I'm gonna give you a bit of assets if you don't really know how to model paint whatever so uh, to speed it up a bit I'm just gonna add a sand texture as you can see it kind of looks kind of weird so we're gonna uh, make the size a bit smaller uh, I guess like four is enough I think so yeah now um, for to start in this video as you see it's the introduction and we're gonna set up the third person character controller well just the base part of it so um, here we're going to go to prefabs. We are going to find a uh, go to AI and we're going to pick an AI that we want to be our um, main character. So I'm just going to pick a random. Oh, this one. I do not like him. He's kind of too tall. Um, 
Yeah, this one seems all right. So he's gonna be our main character. Now uh, later in the scene, we're gonna uh, later in the tutorial series, we're gonna be able to like attach armor and everything to him. So yeah, if you don't follow the series, it's okay as well because um, some parts aren't gonna be connected, so you're gonna be able to apply it to your own game if you haven't been following the series. So how we set up our third person controller if we're gonna use the unity one but just use our own model which I've created for you guys we're gonna go to standard assets characters um, third person character controller prefabs you can all get you can get this by going to import package characters and then importing it so and we're gonna drag the third person controller on the scene like that next to him so now um, if we uh, let's see if there's a main camera um, it's over here. Let me just drag it so you can see what I'm talking about. So, um, the main camera is kind of weird. Let's see why it doesn't, yeah, it doesn't display the terrain, but whatever. Let's play the game to so just see if it works. If we can see, so yeah, we can see the terrain. So now, as you can see, when you add the third person character controller, you can move around, you can jump, you can crouch, you can walk you can run you etc but now we want this to be the model that can do all of that so we're gonna do that by getting this model clicking F going to this AI green we're gonna um, I'm gonna rename it to player and now I'm gonna go to a third person controller and I'm gonna just drag it over here make it a child object and I'm going to select the, uh, set the position to zero on everything. So now it's basically inside the object. Now, I guess, I mean, I don't have to make it bigger or anything. I can make this smaller, but I'm just going to go ahead. And once I did this, I'm going to delete the Ethan glasses. Ethan, I'm going to delete everything. The unit, I'm just basically deleting the unity model. So now we're going to check if our character is on the ground, which she isn't. If I go back, you can see that Ethan's legs the model that unity have are on the ground so see they're on the terrain so we're gonna have to make our characters terrain our characters legs uh, or feet touch the ground so get him and just drag him until he is a bit above the ground but you will to the point where you can't notice it so now as you can see transform Ethan left toe has been everything has been deleted so because we need to set up one for our own character which is really simple just bear with me for a second because as you can see the capsule collider is kind of big we're just going to make it smaller so go to the capsule collider and we can adjust the height of it or we're going to we're going to adjust the size first the height so 0 0.4 0 0.3 for example 35 and then we're going to adjust the height the important thing is to have the height uh, let's put this to 7 or let's say 68 uh, 69 all right and then we're gonna this is just basically playing around with the values you can do this by yourself as well and I've done that I'm just gonna make it like 5 and then I am going to make this let's go a bit up so let's check it you can always change this play with, around with this so this looks okay i'll i'll put the radius a bit down like 26 or not like maybe more 28 okay so now that you've done that when you've uh, played around with your collider now we are gonna actually wanna um i can put this in a sense you understand we're going to connect all the bones that this model has. We're going to create a avatar of this player and uh, just use the third person animator controller that Unity already provides. So this is how this should look. But now we have the Ethan avatar, which we do not want because we're not using the Ethan model. If you click on the model that you've created, um, you can see that it has this AI6 avatar. If it doesn't, if it doesn't, uh, the model that you want your, to be your player, if it doesn't have its own avatar, just click on it, go to rig, and click make it humanoid. For example, this doesn't have the humanoid rig. So just click humanoid and click apply. 
Uh, all the bones are going to be configured automatically, but if you want to check out, you can configure them yourself. It's but it's already configured, so there's no need for that. When we have the uh, avatar, now we—I mean, you've had it before, but now it's um, set to be a humanoid figure. So when we drag this over here, avatar—it's going to be the AI six avatar, and as you can see, all of these things have been deleted. Now if you play the game. It should work, and uh, you can actually see your own player run around, jump around, crouch, etc. So now, if it if it's a bit weird, wonky, or um, like um, floating above the ground, just play with the collider and play with your character, play character's feet being on the ground. So that's gonna be it for this video. In the next one, I'm gonna show you how we're gonna make the camera follow the player. We're gonna be able to orbit around the player. And uh, we're gonna, I'm just gonna make the terrain a bit better. It's not gonna be this wonky looking as this. So, yeah. So, see you in the next video. And um, if you enjoyed the video, I hope you click the like and subscribe because um, this is gonna be a, a bit of a longer series. And I hope to get everything that you guys want in. So, we'll see you in the next video. Bye.